to my channel. Today I'm having, hope y'all can see it. I don't want to tip too big because I'm dropping. I'm having um <laughs> what is French fries and wraps. I'm having chicken and cheese wraps with lettuce. <laughs> I couldn't think straight. It like my mind and went boom. I got an overload. That's it. Let me pray. God forbid. God forbid. We'll take a piece of food. That's because we pray. Probably we'll take that to the next. Yeah, we'll do that. Get me a little sour cream. I think I'll put it on this side. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Because sour cream got a way of being a little messy. I didn't like sour cream on mine. I said, oh, sour cream on, on um, chicken wraps. I was like, how that going to taste, Katie? And one day I tried it. And I am a fan and won't give it up. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is good, good, good. Got me a little french fry. Got me. Only ketchup I eat is Heinz. If I go out and I got to have something different than Heinz, I hope it hunts. And I want a little bit of that. I love Heinz. You know, a lot of people got Heinz um, ketchup now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I hope this don't be messy and fall all over everywhere. It seems like when I eat my food, it fall all over everywhere sometimes. Oh, not that I'm greedy, y'all. I'm sorry. Well, I don't give y'all a bite. I bit off. I ain't bite off it. I put my mouth on the old thing, right? So I'm just going to let y'all see it. You want a bite, you get one. Another one. We don't outgrow that one. Mm -hmm. Look, I told y'all don't unwrap. What you going to unwrap? We got a place down here that is, um, am I right, Mormons? Mm, not Mormons. They said I'm donuts. Oh, Amish. Amish. Is it Amish? Oh my goodness. We had to stop buying them. But one day I'm going to go get some. And I'm going to do a. I'm going to do a. Um, a video. Let y'all see it. I have been different places. We got different donuts. And I do not have a duck and donut for some reason no more. I think duck and the lost their taste for me. They dry. Took bought to the vet that they made. Katie went down the road. She saw Dunkin' Donut. She bought me two. I pulled up and threw them in the trash. They weren't really me. Crispy Green good, though. Crispy mm -hmm. Green real good. But Dunkin' Donut, mm -mm, y'all got to come up better. Y'all used to be no one in my eyesight. Y'all done, done, done fell off. Big time. When they cook these donuts, you know what? Seven o'clock in the morning. They, yeah, they open at seven. Oh my goodness, donuts! I don't know what they do with that dough, but them donuts nice and mm -hmm. soft. But you gotta eat them when you get them, cause the nuts don't put a lot of preservative in there. There's a lot of fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. Cause two days, they are they 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 they, 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 they start perishing, start getting dry. I call it perishing. But they are good, good, good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. They mm -hmm. only sell them Fridays and Saturdays. Only Fridays and Saturdays. They good. People down there getting up, them going up, and getting the breakfast. They did the breakfast and everything good. Yeah, I love it. I love them. Can't use them because you know they fat. I don't need those weight. They good, though. They're the good. They real good. Mm. Well, unless people love grease, what's the big difference between cooking them in the air fryer and frying them on stove with grease? Won't it still taste good to you? 
Mm-hmm. Well, it still tastes good, but some people got their practices. Yeah, some people love grease. Love Cookman grease. Not my husband. He loved grease. He loved the grease. I don't know why. So then we're going to talk about I right, get the names mixed up, so Katie got to help me. We were talking manifest sight. Mm-hmm. I'm going to revisit that because a lot of stuff that happened. We're going to revisit love, love at first sight. Now, I think this is some trash. <laughs> right there. Because there's only one real couple that it seems like they're trying to do anything. Mm-hmm. And even though that, it's still not pulling me in because they're a boring couple. And she cried all the time. And, well, she has a lot of issues. Mm-hmm. Like, and she did, because she said in there, she was like, I didn't even realize I had as much issues as I did until I got married. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. I, I just feel like mm-hmm. it, this season was a complete fail. I think so too, Katie. I don't think nobody's crazy. The, the woman we see talking about, what's her name? I'm to y'all. No, I learned all them names. I've been so outdone with them. I ain't learned all them names. Get into my name. I, I think they need to go back to the drawing board because people watch it. They gain, yeah, they, they're the most popular they've been now. Mm hmm. But they attracted their audience because people wanted to see people fan love, mm-hmm. married at first sight, you know? Mm-hmm. And their ratio is horrible for couples mm-hmm. making it. And decision day means nothing. Exactly. Because a lot of them say, yes, decision day, but time to reunion come around, they're they gone. They're gone. They ain't got no more. Ridiculous. So... I don't know. I think they need to have a meeting and do an overhaul. I always say what they're missing is talking to the families. Mm-hmm. Because people laugh to get on TV. They're going to oh, say yes. what they think you want to hear. But when you talk to that family and interview that family, they're going to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. They're going to tell you what you need to know. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of that stuff could be avoided if they talk to family and friends. Because if you look at the episode when they tell that family they get married, nine out of ten, the ones that family object and they tell their reasons, exactly what they say is end up what happening. Look at Justin from last season. Yes. How his brother reacted. He said, yes. you are not ready for marriage. No, and saying. that's why he was so adamant about it. He had his reasons for saying that. Whether we know all his reasons or not, he know. But if they had interviewed him and said, okay, you strongly object in this. Like, tell us, like, mm-hmm. what, why is it you feeling like this? Mm-hmm. And if what he said were valid, and they mm-hmm. were like, okay, yeah. Okay, he shouldn't have been picked. You should go to the next person. Exactly. And I ain't going to say that every time the family's right, and, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes they don't want to just do that in general because they don't want you to marry somebody at first sight. But if they come with, okay, his, his life is not ready for marriage. He's mm-hmm. he's he always at work. He don't have time for no back. Mm-hmm. He can't. His relationship relationships always failing. He's cheating all the time. You know, mm-hmm. they gonna be more candid than you are on what your situation is. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not no matchmaker, but every single day, mm-hmm. I know picked him. His body name just turned me off. I don't see nobody they, they interviewed would have been a good match for him. Mm. He's self centered. Ain't about the curves. He think he's too good. But I think it's a slap in the face because he talked about how high of a sex drive he has. Yeah. Like he talked about how he always, you know, want. And then for him to say, I don't want her sex to actually decision today, you basically said, ah. I just want to go through the motions with you mm-hmm. until we get to decision day. Cool, so at decision you. day, I'm going to tell you no, and I'm going to mm-hmm. about my business. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, that was, I don't care what nobody said. Everybody judged um, Dom for calling it off and said this was the end. Exactly. But I'm like, no. 
Why are you judging her claiming she threw in a towel and she well, should have yeah, stuck it through? Yeah, but no, change. why leave somebody on? If you just know, I don't care what this person do. I just don't want to be with this person. Exactly. Let them know. Because exactly. I don't care what she does. He does not want to be with her. He has clearly laid it out. Yes, indeed. You can clearly see it. So why are yes, you going indeed. through the motions every week? Tell them, oh, open up. We need to open No, you mm. know you don't want her. Exactly. You don't want her. She ain't your type. She ain't and, your And nothing. you, by the way, had just said, just what Dom said, let's break up. You should have talked to her to and told her the same exactly. thing. I'm still still in mixed motion. Mm -hmm. You remember you had them visits? He's going to go, well, I'll see if I can work on this. He said, yeah, here. Making that face. But you know what? They the dumbest. Cause he can do food now. And then he wanna know why she 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 ain't opening up. Why mm -hmm. would she open up to you? Mm -hmm. Isn't you a boy? <laughs> but I mean, me as a woman, mm -hmm. I don't see how they do it. So they remind me of the not the look, but the one with the guy. He thought he he said he got his ex pregnant. Uh -huh. It remind me of them two because uh, Keith. His name won't keep. It won't keep. I thought mm -hmm. they would keep. It will keep too. It, it remind me of them two because he told her he had sex with her, mm -hmm. but turn around and tell her that he don't find her attractive, mm -hmm. but didn't want to keep having sex with her. Mm -hmm. And her name was Paige. I remember mm -hmm. her name was Paige. Mm -hmm. My thing about it was. I don't even blame him. As a woman, how do you keep going there with him after he keep embarrassing you, talking about how he don't find you attractive, and telling your family basically that he don't find you attractive, but you continue to have sex with him? Her dad, his dad told him not to have sex with him from the He ain't trying to find her attractive. He ain't want her. He told her don't even go that far with her. He did it anyway. When she the dumb one come up, I that she in love. How you in love with someone who love you? He threw her all the up. He threw her all the way to decision day. Trying to play them game. And they had to call him down. Out the door. Still trying to get him to call. He, I don't know what was wrong with that boy. What was wrong with that boy? Mm -hmm. But he's not as bad as him. But every, I'm talking about the situation. Now, I remember first season when Jamie was on the ground crying. Because mm -hmm. she didn't find Doug the tractor. <laughs> But hilarious. He stayed true, but she, even though she was on the floor crying. But let me tell you, her family was the ones. Uh, shout out to her family. Uh -huh. Because I never forget mm -hmm. when her sister came to her. She said, "Get up off that floor no, crying. Uh -huh. You decided to do this. Mm -hmm. You did it, and you said yes. Now get up. That that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what the family members you need. That's what you're talking about. Let the family members talk because." They, they hold, you got to have not only family members, but family members that hold you accountable. Mm -hmm. Because, so, and see, he, he talking to his his cousin. His cousin don't even like her. And, you, of course, she ain't going to encourage him to do right or even really try because she don't like him. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, if it was my sibling or anybody in my family and I saw what was going on, I would tell them you need to end this experiment right now. Mm. Is nothing good gonna come of it for you? Damn. And I don't want to see you embarrassed on national TV. <laughs> Do not run after anybody that don't really want you. Mm -hmm. Don't because because what get me about him? And, and that's why I say it remind me. I think his name was Chris. Yeah, it remind me. That was my. Rem I don't know why that situ rem situation remind Chris. me so much of that. It's because. To me, it seemed like he was getting enjoyment for the fact that she liked him, but he didn't like her. And it was like, that's how it came off to me with okay. him. It was almost like when she stopped chasing him, mm -hmm. he was disappointed. Like, mm -hmm. you ain't going to keep chasing me? Yeah. Like, so to me, for you to get that reaction, mm -hmm. it's like you was enjoying what you was doing to her. Exactly. So when I saw a situation like that, I'd be like, nah, uh-uh. You might as well just cut your license, losses and go on about your business. I know that's Don't embarrass right. yourself. I'm because you don't have to do it because he is not Mr. GQ. But, Katie, she embarrassed herself all the way through the whole show. Even no, I'm up. talking about the one now. Oh. I would tell her oh. to cut your losses. Mm. This is it. 
But she not. They still actively participating. I would not still be going through the motions on that show with them. I would not either. And you know what? It, this is what would teach them. If you have couples that keep that that don't go to the end and start stopping in the middle of the experiment, they'll stop doing it, it. they will stop doing mm -hmm. that because they won't be able to film mm -hmm. all, all, as much as they could. If they have couples, when you put two people together that shouldn't be together, if they mm -hmm. stop filming like Dawn did, and cause she stopped early, mm -hmm. I mean she didn't go move in. She she came down, and when they had that meeting, she was like, "Oh, this is my decision." That. Oh. You had couples start doing that. I bet you they stopped that. Mm -hmm. I bet you they will stop trying to do that. Mm -hmm. Because don't tell me they're not putting... I think what they do is they try to get one or two couples that's for real. Yeah, they feel that but good, I yeah. think majority of them, they trying to get them to, for uh -huh. the entertainment purpose. They feel that if, if they feel that if anybody survived, we still did our job. All we're looking for is show you it works. That's why I be they worry about. But if I remember people's emotions and their feelings too. Like Karen and Miles, don't they do cut out for from the beginning? Both of them got, um, they said both of them got mental problems. And, and what's that? Um, um, anxiety. Yeah, something. anxiety and stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought I have new news. Hey, mama, old news. This is Clint and uh, <laughs> Dominique, right? They I get, mean, you don't really know what's going on. They just released the footage and it mm -hmm. looked like they were about to kiss. Yeah, they about to kiss. But everybody oh, knows Clint. how you can manipulate stuff, so you mm -hmm. don't know until you really know. Oh, Clint. You like Clint, Katie? I don't know what I mean. What you think about? I would say Clint over Aries. Yes. Yes. Because one thing I like about Clint, and maybe some other people might not like it, I like people, you ain't got to guess what they think. Oh, you like me. He tells you stuff. You ain't got to worry about, how does he feel about this? Because he's going to tell you how he exactly. feel about it. Don't beat around the bush and all this stuff. Come at me full force and let me know how you really feel. Mm. Whether I like it or not, but at least you're being honest. Mm -hmm. Are you right? You might just going to call it quits. I mean, him and Gina should too. Mm -hmm. So you can clearly see they're going to do the emotions. Neither one of them find the other attractive. And they do not see themselves being with each other. So I'm like, what you, what you still going on with the show for? Well, um, um, Shaq and, 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 and what her name? She ain't no bad. But the difference between them is at least they pretending to try. The other two oh. couples, they not even trying. You can tell they not even trying. I really think. She was trying until she saw mm -hmm. how he was. And that's what made her revert. And she closed off now. And I don't fault her because she saw the writing on the wall. She was like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm not going to be keep going on and on with this man. Mm -hmm. And he ended up hurting my feelings, mm -hmm. you know? So, that's why she closed off. But Clint and Gina, they they not even trying. They have a superficial conversation. That's why I always tell my um, that New Orleans season, which is my favorite season, one of my favorite seasons of Married at First Sight was the New Orleans ones with mm -hmm. Karen and Miles and Me all of them. Mm -hmm. But her favorite couple was Amelia and, um, <laughs> what was his name? Um, Lord, what's his name? Lord, okay, you were asking. I forgot his name. Mm. It, her, it was Amelia. Mama met a million person. I met a million person for uh -huh. real. Don't tell who you met at. I'm not, met, but met I met her. a million in person. Yeah, took a picture took with a her. Picture with her. Yeah, but I told Mama when it was going on. I was like, "They're not gonna make it." She said, and she was like, "What? That's my favorite couple." My favorite but I was couple. like, "But if you were looking at them, everything was superficial." When they would tell them to like talk, like they, and this is what proved it. When they had that, uh, um, that the competition, mm -hmm. they scored the worst and man, out of mm -hmm. all the couples. Even the couple that didn't like each other, they were the flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Everybody told you, they were like, well, mm -hmm. you, we did better than you did. Exactly. But if you listen to them, when they had that segment, they didn't talk about anything real. They nope. would have these crazy discussions. Because, you know, they were out there, people. But they'd be talking about something. If you were to go off the yeah. side of this road and all that stuff. But they didn't really get into the meats and bones oh, of them as a person. And I was like, I told my mom, I was like, yeah, they see like they do it all right. And I said, because they're not really doing 
anything. Like they just they existing with each other, but they're not getting to know each other. And I said when when that fades off, I said it's, they not, I don't see them working. And sure enough, they, they didn't. didn't work. But one thing about it, she got a job to the doctor. I said the move. He wasn't. I don't think he really. He said he'll go on give up move, but. He he didn't really want to move. I don't think he really want to move. But Dove, he had not going for him. He didn't That's the thing. And see, and if you don't remember, Pastor Cal did raise that as a. Uh, they had a discussion about that because she says she grew up in a home where her daddy was the one that took care of them. Exactly. Her mama was the one that worked outside the house. So she said she didn't mad. She mm -hmm. said she didn't mad a unconventional relationship like yeah. that. Yeah. And. Pastor Cal said that he he said for a while all he got from her, she was like he said I know she said that she don't matter, but he, he said he felt like it will ultimately matter to her. And I remember him and Dr Pepper was going back and forth about him because Dr Pepper was like no I don't think she was mad, but I told Mom myself I was like look so you think she really did mad? I think she mad. I said because you gotta think about it. She, we this is completely different generation. So Bennett. what her did, Benny, yeah, Bennett. what her daddy might have done. <laughs> so it, it's different if I'm I'm outside of the house and I'm working, <laughs> and you inside the house. Now you're not working, but you're contributing. You you're doing stuff around the house. Mm -hmm. I don't have to come home and worry about nothing. You when you at home, you doing something. Benny don't look like the type that was doing anything. He looks like the type that would just. A free spirit, and he just do whatever he want. He ain't clam. trying to take care of nothing. So it's like it's a difference between being a partner that's staying at home and contributing in mm -hmm. other words, than, other ways than financially. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was doing that. I think she got tired of it. Well, I'm gonna say this. I question. <laughs> I wouldn't even go there. I ain't going there. Like I said, sometimes you just too much alike. And I think they just saw two out there people <laughs> and were like, oh, they'll be a perfect match. But actually, if you really think about it, two people that's alike, <laughs> 9 out of 10, are not the perfect match. Mm -hmm. It's actually your perfect match, 9 out of 10, is your complete opposite. Mm -hmm. Because it. where your strengths are is their weakness. Mm -hmm. And where it. your weakness that's is it. their strength. That's so right. if you're both is like fly by the wheels type of people, you that's not your game. Mm -hmm. That's not your game. So I don't know why they thought it would be a good idea to place them two together because they both was out there. And if you think about it, they already knew each other. Yes, they had already met. So if they already met they knew each other, the Chinese couple. Yeah, if you and I told my when well, you have one, when well, you have a situation where they have already met and had an opportunity of being together, if they want to get. They didn't want exactly. each other. Exactly. And but what got to me was, they said, "I remember you." Even the Clinton her, she said, "You stay in my they building. My I don't building. saw you in my building." So they already seen each other. You right? You right? And you ain't trying to get with that person or, or struck a conversation then. What you going to start a conversation when you? Mm hmm I'd be dug on if them experts ain't going to the same dug on building got the same two people. And they knew it. They that knew was, it. That was pretty stupid, Katie. They knew it. Oh, I'm so I'm like, what, what's the point? That's why I say you can't tell me they don't do some of this stuff for drama. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's reality. I remember in this, reality TV. You gotta get the ratings from somewhere. Yeah, but I tell you, I'm watching, but I'm not like, oh, it's Wednesday night, let's watch it. When I get tan, I watch it. Sometimes mm -hmm. it'd be two, three episodes, I go back and exactly. watch. I mean, you're not really holding my attention. <laughs> and this season has been one of the worst. <laughs> and I say that every season, so that's 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 getting to be bad. Ah, you sure do say it. I mean, last season won't good either. Then none of them stay together. None of them. Mm, they broke up at the end. Even the last couple. Yeah. Up the end. So I'm like, what's the point? You have one or two success stories. That's it. But they do got some good success stories, though. Mama, they, got they, two, they, got they two probably had more. matched over, what, 100 couples? And you got 10 that you can say still together? But that's good because the ones together like to love each other. I, I don't it. know. Yo, yo couple should need some them. They I want to Oh, they're still together. They're still together. Yeah, but I love them too. Just for her. Mm -hmm. They've been broken up just as much as they've been together. Right. 
Is that what marriage is all about? Break up, get back together, you guys. So just keep on fighting. Don't no, stop fighting. marriage ain't supposed to be breaking up, get back together. That's break dysfunctional. Up. I hope, I hope. Uh, you got to make it the best way to see you, Katie. Starting out. No, but you ain't supposed to be. It dysfunctional. Long as abuse going on. But well, he did cheat it. But you ain't supposed to be breaking up, getting back together. That's dysfunctional. But honey, that's just a marriage, girl. Two people try to become one. Mm. You know how hard that is? Two people try to become one. It ain't easy. Yeah, but breaking up getting back together is It ain't easy. There's no stability. It's so they fighting for the child to make it. No, nah, sometimes if you keep breaking up getting back together, you don't need to be together. Mm, no. That's all that is. Some people don't know when to let go. I don't know. Sometimes it's the worst and that, and, and those, that times out of 10, they'd be the ones where they've been married 20 years and they get a divorce when they in their 50s and sometimes stuff. Sometimes And I'm thing. like, for what? Why? Why go through that the whole all this time just to wait till you get to your your years where you supposed to be just living your dream and you getting a divorce? Sometimes we're having we're fighting for. Mm -hmm. I said fight until you can't fight no more. If you, if you ain't meant to be, you if, well, if be. that's the case, you won't be breaking up. If you was fighting, you won't be breaking up. Well, if you was really fighting for your marriage, they doing something. They still keep getting back together. Yes, yeah, so. they ain't broke up like the damn thing. I mean, you never know. They might just decide not to keep it off of social media because all the backlash they got the last time all that stuff went down. And, um, because you remember they got into it with Dr. Pepper and everything? Mm -hmm. They might have decided to keep that stuff off. See, he media. wants more babies and she don't. Well, she don't want no more babies because they're too unstable. No, she, she got a career. She no, got... she, and she also said how unstable it was because she asked him when she was pregnant said that she don't even think they would have been together if she didn't get pregnant. Because they were actually broken up when she found out she was pregnant. The show was still going on when she found out she was pregnant? No, she won't. They was, they was, uh, um, she was um, um, showing when they did the reunion. Now, you got to remember, this stuff is pre-taped. Yeah, that's true. So while we were looking at it, that already happened like a year before. But yeah, she said when she found out she was pregnant, she had um um she went to the hospital because she thought she had a flu or something oh, or either tell. food poisoning. And she said they were not together at that time. She said she won't ring her ring and he won't ring his ring. He had cheated. That's all it was to it. But I don't know about I don't know about all that. But I want them to be together. I'm sure you do. I, I don't, uh -huh. I'm not saying I don't want them together, but I think she's very smart. If you are in a relationship that is yeah, up and down, no why kids are you gonna keep having kids? That's true. They don't make no sense. Excuse me. You well, already got one that's gonna have to go through all that. You bringing another one for? Her. She done grown on up, child. She bad, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess she, she, she said. Well, when you show me stability and I get where I want to be, we'll re -dis uh, discuss that. Then I don't know, and what you and, and what you call them doing good? Mm -hmm. They have one baby too. Mm -hmm. And when is um Kay and um her husband they gonna have the baby? Oh, now that's who working on the career because he said he didn't want to. Cause you know he was trying to he work finished. his way up and he stuff like that. Down. Yeah, he finished, but you know he said that he wanted to work on all that before they brought kids in there. So uh huh, that's smart you know. Too. I guess they go have a discussion when they ready, but they could still go to show. Now, that's a couple that mind their business. Uh huh. She, they buy their business mm -hmm. when their season was going on. They didn't uh -huh. get into all this stuff. And the other couple too just had the baby too. They didn't. Yeah. They, uh -huh. I can't think of their name, but they buy their own business. You know, too. Um, what you call pregnant again? Who? Um, the one that gets real sick all the time when she pregnant. The one that was in Texas. And she, um, he didn't want her to have no more kids. And she got pregnant the second time. That's she pregnant the third time. The oh, one, Anthony. Uh, what's his no, name? No, 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 no. Anthony. No, this is the one. I didn't like her. What? She was the one that, um, he always said yes. And Pastor Kyle told him, he was like, you gonna get tired of that. He gave in to her all the time. Remember she wanted a new house? He had his own house, but she wanted a new oh, one. Oh, yeah. she pregnant. She yeah. pregnant. Is yeah. it they, Stacy? They, they, huh? Stacy? No, not Stacy. Um, she announced yeah, the Easter. I she know. had that Easter baby, and then the third one it was the sonogram, and then she was showing she was pregnant. Uh huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. then she wanted another house. You remember how sick she always got? Yeah. She was pregnant. Uh huh. And he was like, he didn't want her to get pregnant with the second one. Uh huh. I'm trying to think of her but I'm shocked. I'm like. Oh, but he just let her run over top of him, I guess. So that's why I survived it. He don't run over top of him. It's a give and take. It ain't give and take. That's, that's what Pastor Kyle told him. He was like, you, you need to start speaking up for yourself. And he didn't do it. 
hell, man. He don't care about that. He, he got his other battle to fight. He ain't worried about that. Some people, he'll, he'll, he'll dress, but some people, some people don't feel the need to dress stuff. Ain't really going to make them or break them. So you just leave it alone. That's what I said. Right? Well, you need to apply that to every situation because you talk trash about other people that don't do that. Oh. So I don't think you want to go there with me. Uh-uh. I'm saying sometimes if he didn't want to have a second baby, the second baby. Ain't nobody talking about that. I said I'm surprised they even lasted because of that. I think they've been loving each other. And how the word you gonna turn around and say that after you finish just talking trash about somebody else that just say that? Oh, you want me to go there? I I can't think who you talking oh, about. Oh, oh, I go there because I don't care. Somebody else is doing the same thing. Don't you don't um because I don't know what you are gonna say. This girl ain't got no. Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't try to change it up. Probably somebody. If, you know. if the situation is the situation, it don't matter the person. If you mm -hmm. feel like that, you should feel like that. Don't matter the person. Well, I put it this way. I don't believe that serious. How he felt about that, I really don't believe. It. Cause he didn't. He didn't really show no reaction that he was real serious about. You know. I just look how laid back and how calm he is. That's the way I see. He's a different person. What that was he showing the TV? He, he seemed to be a little laid back and calm. That's the way I see. But I hope Shanice. I hope all of them together. And I don't know the situation on current. It was just humble. But I hope they stay together. But if they're not still together, that's their life. Ain't mine. I have to look up a reality TV. And all that stuff going on in reality TV. Well, anyway, time for us to go. Yeah, we'll talk enough and ain't enough. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.